friends in this video I'm going to discuss one method of integration which is called integration by parts now, uh, you should know, uh, you should be knowing the difference uh, the product rule of differentiation which is like this if you have two function f and g and you want to find the derivative this dash or prime f dot or f times g prime is f dot g prime plus g dot f prime. I hope you know this is the product rule in differentiation. That means the rule says that if, if you want to find the derivative of the product of two functions, then the rule is you write the first function, uh, then differentiate the second function, plus you write the second function and you differentiate the first function, or in whichever order you write. Uh, integration by parts is the opposite of product rule. So what do I mean by that? So if this rule, uh, if you suppose integrate uh, with respect to x on both sides, can I write like this? This is integration of f dot g dash dx is equal to integration of f dot g dash dx plus integration of g dot f dx. So what I've done is I've integrated all of them with respect to x. So if you integrate a derivative function with respect to x, you get that function. So this implies you can say f dot g or f times g is equal to integration of this. That is f times g dash dx plus integration of g times g dash dx. Some people say prime, I say dash. So if you make any one of this on the right hand side the function, oh, sorry, the subject, so I can say therefore integration of f times g prime dx is equal to f dot g or f times g minus integration of g dot f dash dx. So this is integration, this is the rule of integration integrating by parts. So I'm going to use this simple rule to integrate some examples. Okay, now I'll show you some formulas. You should know these formulas. So these are I have copied and pasted from uh, one formula sheet of NCEA. So you, sh you should be knowing these der uh, derivative formula, natural log of x. If you differentiate natural log of x is 1 over x. Okay, and these are the other. But you don't have any formula. Now if you, do, if you go backwards, integration you should know is the opposite of differentiation. So what do I mean? It means if you integrate 1 over x, you get natural log of x. If you integrate cos x, you get sin x. If you integrate sin x, you get cos x. So integration is the opposite. But we don't have a formula of integration of natural log of x. Okay, so here, uh, one of the best ways to do it is by integration by parts. So let me bring up my document. Okay, so here, so this is, uh, I didn't write the dx here, so I'll write the dx. So this is, uh, this is dx, okay? Okay, I don't want this thick pen, so I'll make it thinner, okay? So I want to find integration of, say, let me bring my, so I want to integrate with respect to x, natural log of x. So what I'm going to do is, you have got, you have to take, here, though there is only one function, I can write this as integration of 1 dot natural log of x dx. I'm taking 1 as a function. So I'm going to take, say, 1. 1 as, uh, you can take 1 as any one of them. So it's better to take the difficult, the easy function as g prime. So I'm going to say, okay, let 
if let the first let f be equal to natural log of x okay so as a rule of thumb it's better to take because it's difficult to integrate rather than differentiate so i'm going to take the g dash as an easy function and g prime is equal to one so what we're going to do is we're going to differentiate this and we're going to integrate this so f prime or the derivative of natural log of x is 1 over x and if you integrate this you get the function so integration of g dash dx would be g so uh, integrating both sides so g would be what is the integration of 1 dx that would be x does it make sense so this is f which is natural log of x the first function f is natural log of x so if we differentiate that you get 1 over x and if g dash which is the derived function or derivative is 1 g would be x or if you think backwards if g is x g prime would be 1 so I'm going to apply this so my I'm saying my f is my f is natural log of x so the same thing I'm going to write like this so can I write like this so this implies natural log of f what is my f is natural log of x dot g my g prime is 1 dx if I keep looking at the formula so I have written our question in this form so this is equal to g dot sorry f dot g what is my f f is natural log of x times g which is x times x minus integration of g what is g g is x times f dash f dash is 1 over x dx I'm going very slowly so that you understand so this implies integration of natural log of x dot 1 dx is x natural log of x minus integration of 1 dx just like that so so this becomes x natural log of x minus integration of 1 with respect to x would be x and then you have to put the constant of integration so finally we got integration of x dx is equal to x natural log of x minus x plus c now it's always good to check your answer so how will you check your answer as I just as I in the in the beginning said integration and differentiation are opposite of each other as expansion and factorization are opposite so if the integration of this is this if you differentiate this you should get this so let us check our work so this is how I check so I'm going to differentiate this so I'm going to say d by dx of x natural log of x minus d by dx of x plus d by dx of c so now yeah I can use the product rule so let us go back to the product rule what does the product rule say product rule is f dot g dash is f dot g dash plus g dot f dash so using the product rule the product rule is very simple you differentiate the first function so the uh, the differentiation of x is 1 and you write the second function as it is plus you write the first function as it is and you write the differentiation of the second function which is 1 over x minus this is 1 and this is 0 the, the derivative of constant is 0 so this becomes natural log of x plus 1 minus 1 and that is natural log of x so you can give yourself uh, say yes, three smiley face okay let us move on to the next question
let us do one more question okay um, okay integration of e to the power x sine x okay so here the let, let me write the formula so the formula is integration of uh, f uh, let us go back let me see the formula what did, what do we say integration of f times g dash dx it's very simple to remember so f dot g dash dx is equal to f dot g minus integration you've got f here you have to put an f dash here you got a g dash so you have to put a g here just like that okay so what are we going to do we have to take one s f and other s g dash so let us say uh, let us take f is equal to e to the power x and g dash is equal to sine x we're going to set this in this form so we have to differentiate so we want f dash and the derivative of f dash is sorry e to the power x is e to the power x and you have to integrate this so g would be integration of sine x so let us go back to formula sheet integration of sine x differentiation of cos x is sine x so integration of sine x would be minus cos x so if you integrate this you get the g so i can say minus cos x i'm not writing the c here i'll see if we can put at the end so using this formula can i say integration of e to the power x sine x dx i want you to compare this with this so this is my f and this is my g dash is equal to f dot g which is e to the power x dot what is g okay be very careful in substituting you have got a minus i'll put a minus out here cos x minus integration of f dash which is e to the power x times g which is a negative cos x i'll put a plus here plus cos x dx just like that okay now what will you do now you have to integrate this now for integration of this we'll have to again use chain rules i'm going to do a star here and i'm going to do this separately here so the star is so integration of e to the power x cos x dx is what we want to integrate so again the same process so i'm going to say instead of f i'm going to say let u is equal to e to the power x and v dash is equal to cos x so if you integrate this so you can say sorry differentiate this is e to the power x and you have to integrate this that is v so integration let me go back to the formula sheet integration of cos x is sine x okay so uh, if you integrate this you get sine x so applying the same form integrating by parts uh, we can write now we're almost there so this is equal to integration of e to the power x sine x no sorry we want cos x we are integrating cos x e to the power x cos x dx okay let us go back to the formula what does the formula say the only difference that we have done is instead of f and g i have taken u and v so you have to take f dot g becomes u dot v so what is my u u is e to the power x what is my v sine x minus integration of f dash is u dash u dash times v so my u dash is e to the power x and v is sine x dx so let me put this back i have to now substitute this back into this form okay so what will happen now so let me scroll up slightly so i can see integration of e to the power x sine x is equal to this is minus e to the power x cos x 
and this has been integrated to this. So this becomes plus e to the power x sine x minus this, the integration of e to the power x sine x, let me scroll up, dx. So can you see what is, what is happening? You've got e to the power x sine x, integration of e to the power sine x. So I'll bring this to this side. So I can say 2 integration of e to the power x sine x is equal to e to the power x sine x minus e to the power x cos x. Okay, so we're almost there. So this is dividing all by 2. So I can say integration. I forgot the dx here. Okay, so it, therefore integration of e to the power x sine x dx. I'm dividing, so this is half times e to the power x sine x minus e to the power x cos x. So I can take e to the power x, I can factor that out. So e to the power x times sine x minus cos x. Of course, you should never forget the constant of integration. So this is your final answer. Now you can check this by if you differentiate this try to do it yourself if you differentiate this you should get this see you in the next video